beautiful Aquarius and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of April 11th to the 17th. Please keep in mind that time is fluid and check your other chart placements out on my channel. Aquarius, if you are interested in winning a free reading with me, all you have to do is subscribe and comment your name in the comment section down below. Aquarius, we are getting you an angel for the week to see what guardian angel is with my beautiful Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, sign, spirit, what angel is with Aqua? All right, Aquarius, your angel is the angel of love. All right, so they are highlighting your love relationships, specifically romance. It could be some platonic energies as well. But the angel of love is really helping you open up your heart as well as bring beautiful energies open to you. All right, Aquarius, let's see what this is all about. Can I have another card for Aqua for the week of April 11th to the 17th? Some of you may be falling in love. Some of you may be, someone may be falling in love with you. Could be confessions here. New love. Let's see what else comes through for you, Aquarius. You have romance. Well, there they go. They said, nope, we talking about Aquarius. We're talking about love life this week. All right, well, this is a little bit of a love reading, Aqua. Don't worry, we still do get some Oracle for money, so there is a mes money message here as well. But they are highlighting your romance life. Romance, it is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. All right, some of you could have been born on the 20th or the 23rd. doesn't have to be. It's just the energy. But, I mean, does it get any more synchronized? They said, nope, I'm not giving you nothing else. We're still talking about the love. Let's see. Aqua. New love. Renewed love. Past person coming in. Could be leveling up your love life. Maybe some of you are getting engaged to. Getting an offer of commitment. Let's see what the moonology has for Aquarius. Ooh. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. Yeah, there's definitely an energy coming in that is very stable. Very beautiful for your love life. You definitely, if you are meeting a new person, I 100% feel like you will be in a relationship with this energy. Others of you, I definitely feel like you are leveling up the commitment in this relationship. Maybe getting proposed to, right? Getting offers of commitment. Others of you, somebody absolutely could be coming back around to be back together with you. Let's see what moon card comes in. Some of you may, deal, may have Taurus energy in your chart. Or around you. This is for Aquarius. But no matter what's happening in your love life, prosperity lies ahead. Ooh, and you got the eclipse card. That's where we're going. Eclipse season. So some of you, this eclipse season is really highlighting your love life. I know myself deeply and find myself worthy. And let's get you one more card. Beauty raises my sorry. Beauty raises my vibration. I seek it out for healing and joy. Oh, oh, hello, it's flying. So you're looking beautiful as ever, and you know yourself on a much more deeper level now. Some of you, you had to go through certain relationships that had forced you to get to know yourself on a deeper level, whether they worked out or not. But I definitely do feel a very beautiful energy coming to your romantic life. So let's look into it, Aqua. What do we got? Give us the tarot on this for Aquarius. Why is this being so heavily highlighted? For my beautiful Aquarius for April 11th to the 17th. Here we go. The King of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. Yeah, so a lot of you have dealt with a lot of disappointment in your love life, Aquarius. A lot of things like not working out for you. A lot of things causing you constant disappointment. Maybe in this relationship you felt like you were dealing with cycles of constant disappointment here. I definitely do feel like there has been an energy of struggle with love. 
arguments, tension, whatever the case may be, or just constant disappointment of new people. You know, some of you Aquarius may feel like, why do I keep meeting this same sort of person with just a different face, right? You want that hope restored. And something's happening here. So let's see. You're finding a lot more stability in your emotional body as well. Possibly over past disappointments. Spirit, please show me this is for Aquarius in terms of romantic love. April, no, not in terms of romantic love. I'm sorry. This is a general reading. They're just focusing on this. Spirit for Aquarius, please clarify this for April 11th to the 17th. The Knight of Cups, there's your lover. The Wheel of Fortune, there's things changing. And the Page of Wands, there's the spark. All right, so I definitely do feel like my single Aquarius, I do feel like there could be two people here interested in you. You may be hearing from somebody online or on social media, somebody definitely connected to this disappointment, and there may be also another very stable energy around you or a very work-focused energy around you that is a lot more open and pursue. So some of you single Aquas, I feel like you're going to hear from a past person who disappointed you, and I do feel like there's a new energy in your vicinity that you may be feeling a lot more open open and pursuing others of you you are in a relationship it looks like there's going to be like a spark of affection here with that page of wands maybe there has been a lack of affection a lack of openness a lack of love king of pentacles i mean coming in as the knight of cups it does look like a very stable grounded work like focus energy is finally being more open and loving and pursuing the emotional depth part of the connection so if you're in a relationship it looks pretty good there's actually a spark of affection re-sparked or maybe there's a little bit more childlike energy between the two of you maybe there was a lack of that because of a lot of conflict and with the knight of cups here they're also opening up more emotionally and the wheel of fortune so the queen of cups is showing that you feel like things are changing for you and your love life in a more positive direction so, single Aquarius, I definitely feel like there could be two people here in relationship Aquarius. I definitely feel like things are changing in a better direction for you. At least that's what you feel emotionally. And it could definitely be because your person is being a lot more affectionate and a lot more loving. It's still on a level of needing more to grow, but it's a start, you know. So let's clarify this for Aquarius. Others of you, I do feel like this all oh, this could be coming from one whole past person. Like this energy could be coming from one person or two for some of you. You know your status in love while watching this. Clarify this for Aquarius. We have the chariot, ten of wands. Yeah, wow. And the Eight of Cups. All right, some you are definitely hearing from somebody that you felt disconnected from or actually walked away from. Definitely. So, single Aquarius, I see you um, connecting to a new person and hearing from a past person. Or hearing from a past person and they want to move forward and reconnect with you. Others of you, Aquarius, I do feel like your person, I don't know what you guys have been going through specifically, but it looks like you two are walking away from that sense of disappointment. Whatever is changing in your love life is helping you feel a lot better with that 10 of wands. You don't feel as burdened by the feelings that you have in love, or you don't feel as burdened by the feelings you have for this person because they're finally giving their feelings back to you. So let's clarify this one more time for Aquarius. For April 11th to the 17th. What's going on for my beautiful Aquarius? Five of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, things are definitely feeling a lot more uh, enthusiastic and exciting. So in your current relationship, I definitely do feel... Um, there has been a lot of disappointment, but things are looking up and you're feeling that you're not as stuck on the disappointment. 
So things are definitely getting a lot better in current connections. This definitely could be a past person coming in. They caused a lot of disappointment. They want to move away from that now. They want you to give them a chance. A lot of you are somewhat open, but still have this person at arm's length. Others of you, Aquas, you have a new person and a past person. And I feel like you're kind of like down about both of them. Because maybe you're in your head about losing the chance with the past person. Or maybe you're in your head about losing the chance with a new person. So some of you do have a choice to make. Clarify this one more time for Aquarius for April 11th to the 17th. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Judgment card. And we have the Empress. Yeah, there's some... There is... Um, a return-like energy. So that either means somebody's returning into your life or there's a return of the happiness to this connection that you're currently in. You come in feeling like the empress at the end of the day. So that's showing that whatever this energy is bringing you, whatever they're saying to you, whatever they're opening up about is making you feel recognized, seen, and heard. But because of the disappointments or because of the decision-making process you have to go through, you are keeping this energy at arm's length or keeping these energies at arm's length until you decide what to do. So decisions, 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 Aquarius. That's what we got going on. And current relationship is definitely getting better. I feel like your person, Queen of Swords to the Empress, they definitely may be um, giving more or acting more or just being more loving. I feel that. So let's see what your career and finance has. In terms of zodiac signs, you have Libra, Taurus, Cancer. But you really could be dealing with anybody. But you are reaping good news in your love life. Some of you, it's double time. And there's multiple energies. But let's see what money and career has for Aquarius. Mass, secret stash, save pennies, finding money. Some of you may find money. Check your pockets, check your laundry. Or some of you have a secret stash, keep saving. And coffin, financial challenges, saving. Start saving your money. Aquarius, you need to know that. And we have the light bulb. Lucrative ideas, new income source, inspiration, entrepreneur, new job, creative work. So some of you actually may have left a bad job that made you feel like you had to save so much and couldn't really spend. Some of you with the coffin to the light bulb, you're starting a totally new job. Others of you, you are moving towards a different level of finances where you are getting a new income source or a better income source from your work. And I definitely do feel some of you finding money. Maybe you thought you spent money and you really didn't and you find it. That could be. All right. So let's see, Spirit. This is for Aquarius in terms of romantic love again, but we're doing the Oracle now. I should have just did the Oracle on that first and did money at the end, but I'm just going with the way I normally do the reading. So this is for Aquarius. Give me the Oracle for, uh, for their romance. For romance for Aquarius for April 11 to 17. Please show me the oracle for Aquarius in romantic love. We have fifth dimension, devotion, and family. Some of you share a family with this person and they're going to be a lot more devoted, putting their time and energy into this relationship. Some of you are aware of their family. Maybe you met their family once. Maybe you just walked past them. It doesn't really matter. Others of you, this person is definitely coming in. They want to devote their time and energy to you. And they really feel like you are the person that they possibly could have a family with down the road. Spirit, please clarify this for Aquarius. Some of you, this person is very family oriented. Clarify this for Aquarius. Maybe they'll be introducing you to family. Recognition, conclusion, and lessons. Yeah, you're definitely receiving a lot of attention here. So I do feel like you could be receiving it from any different energies, whether they're current, past, or new. Clarify this for Aquarius. Refocus cycles and tribe. Yeah. So I definitely feel like for a lot of you, there is a new cycle coming that there's a lot more love in your life. And a lot of you may have had to refocus and focus on you and not give so much or not be so much or whatever the case may be. But there's definitely a huge conclusion to a cycle and a beautiful cycle coming in. 
where there is recognition, where there is time and energy put into this connection by your person, by this past person who wants back in, possibly a newer energy for some of you. There is some sort of family dynamic involved, so whether on your end, on their end, whether just very family focused, maybe met their family, may will meet their family, or you two may share a family. So thank you, Aquarius. What a reading for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.